Hello everybody, it's John Pace and this is just a quick video to answer uh, one of my viewers questions about a video I uploaded recently uh, saying that he noticed that um, my image wasn't really exposed to the right. Um, he says, John, it doesn't look like you exposed to the right a lot. How many stops did you expose to the right in this example? I used the zebras and the skin looked much lighter than yours without the LUT. Is this one stop to the right? And here is uh, what the image looked like. And you can see it's a little brighter than normal, but it's not really exposed to the right. I'd say uh, just a touch, maybe a third of a stop or so. So this video, I show um, how to expose to the right and how to color correct for the uh, image. Okay, so we're importing the clip now. And you can see that the in the... Uh, monitor that the levels are pretty high and my face is uh, paper white. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, throw on uh, Paul Leeming's uh, uh, LUT for uh, Cine 2 for the Sony. I'm shooting with the A7 III here. And now the uh, already the image is looking a lot better. I'm just dragging the shadows down a touch. Don't need to uh, boost saturation or play with the midtones much here. It's looking pretty good right now. The next step is uh, using the X-ray color checker. We're going to go ahead and uh, drop a draw mask on the um, card. You can see in this picture uh, I'm not holding the card at the correct angle. There's a reflection in the black. Um, I should have chosen another part of the uh, clip, but this will work for right now. Okay, so I'm drawing a mask around the uh, rectangle here. Okay, and we can look at the um, I, the overlay. It's uh, what is it? The RGB overlay, and you can see that the image is a little bit blue. So we're going to go into the uh, color curves and uh, drop the blue a little bit in the highlights, and then next we'll work on the shadows a little bit in the mid-tones. Okay, and in the shadows, uh, it's hard to see, but I'm gonna play with it a little bit and see if I can adjust it so it looks better. Okay, that's looking much better already. Now we're going into the reds in the mid-tones, and uh, I'm playing with that. Now the shadows, and it's looking pretty good. It's not perfect, but oh, the green. And the shadows, okay. So we're through there. Um, it's pretty close, it's not perfect, but. Uh, okay, we remove the mask. We'll take a look at the image, see what it looks like. Uh, <laughs> I always have trouble with that mask uh, turning it on or off, I don't know. Anyway, the image is already looking a, a little bit better. So we're going to go ahead and uh, draw another mask, this time just around the color chips on the X-Rite color checker. So I'm going to, I don't know how to reset the uh, draw mask and uh, restart it, so I'm going to drop another draw mask on there and start over again. You can see I'm fumbling around. I don't know what I'm doing with that uh, draw mask at all. Okay, so center the uh, card. You could see I'm uh, panicking here. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, now we're drawing a mask around the color chips on the X-ray color checker. Okay, bam. And now we go into the uh, uh, color tab and uh, hit the hue saturation curves. And using hue versus hue, use the eyedropper and just quickly click on all six uh, colors. And now you can see that we've got all the colors that are, and they should be pointing at the corresponding boxes on the uh, vector scope. And you can see they're a little bit off. So we're going to hold the shift key down while we drag these hues up and down so it doesn't move side to side. 
So it's just moving up and down, and we're going to try to correct each of the colors. And now we're correcting the green. Next is cyan. And uh, that's pretty close. Move on to blue. Or, no, we're still doing cyan here, huh? Okay, now the blue. Tinker with that a little bit until it's uh, pointing directly at the box. Magenta. And last but not least, uh, red. Okay, and once we have those uh, pointed, we can go ahead and uh, get rid of the draw mask. In order to see those lines more clearly in the vector scope, you can always boost the saturation. Okay, now what do we got? Okay, it's looking pretty good. Okay, my skin tone's still a little bit red. It usually is, and I like to go in and uh, using the color wheels or the curves, I like to go in and uh, reduce the red a little bit to get the skin tones a little better, but uh, for now this is uh, the basic how to um, color correct using the X-ray color checker and uh, Paul Leeming's awesome uh, Leeming Lab Pro. I hope you found that interesting, and if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you'd like to see more content like this in the future, please consider subscribing. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.